This video is brought to you by SoccerPro.com, bringing you all the latest soccer gear at everyday low prices with no membership fees. Don't forget to use coupon code SR4U at checkout for 10% off any order of $75 or more. Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com, bringing you this week's Question of the Week video. If you're not familiar with this particular series, basically it works like this. You guys can ask any soccer shoe or soccer equipment related question down below in the comments and whatever question I see being asked the most or a question that I find is really good, I will pick to answer in next week's question of the week video. The amount of questions you guys have been submitting has been really great. Uh, I just want to make sure that when you guys are asking these questions, try to avoid questions that just have yes or no answers because it's really hard or difficult for me to make like a, a whole video on just a yes or no question. So try to ask a question that has a little bit of complexity to it and something that actually needs some explanation as opposed to just being a yes or no answer. Also if you guys do enjoy the question of the week series, be sure to leave a like on the video. As far as this week's question goes, this is one of those questions I get all the time, easily 50 messages a day, and it's one of those questions that I really can't answer for you. You have to answer for yourself, and that question is, how do I know if I have wide feet? Um, people who have wide feet are a lot less common than you might think. Everybody is under the impression that they have wide feet. I would say that eight out of 10 people that think that they have wide feet don't actually have wide feet. Um, and the real answer to this question is know your own feet. I get a lot of messages asking me, I wore in this shoe, this shoe, and this shoe. Am I going to fit into this shoe now? Is my foot going to be too narrow? Is it going to be too wide? Um, how do I know if it's going to fit? Or I get messages like, um, my foot is five inches wide at this point. Um, am I going to fit in this specific shoe? And that doesn't tell me anything either because a wide foot, if you're, for example, if five inches is a wide foot and for example, a size eight US, five inches might not be a wide foot and a size 10 US. In fact, it might be a narrow foot. So it really depends on the size of your feet, the shape of your feet. Do you have flat feet? And where exactly are your feet wide? What's the widest point on your foot? Is it the heel, the midfoot, the forefoot, or even the toes? Everybody has different shaped feet. It's probably one of the most varied body parts that we have. So like I said, it's really up to you to figure out what shape your feet actually are. The best way to know if you have wide feet is do you regularly have trouble fitting into shoes? Not just soccer shoes, but regular shoes in general. If you're buying shoes and you fit into them perfectly every single time, you more than, more than likely do not have wide feet. If you find yourself not fitting into regular shoes, you're having to go to specialty shoe stores to buy double E or triple E wide shoes, then that's generally a good sign that you actually do have wide feet. But if you're fitting into shoes pretty regularly and having no issues fitting into normal everyday shoes or even most soccer shoes that you try on, then more often than not, you do not have wide feet. One other thing to take note of is where is your foot the, at its widest point? Like I said already, um, a wide midfoot generally kind of restricts what shoes you're going to fit into more than, for example, a wide heel will. Wide heel really doesn't mean all that much. But if you have a really wide midfoot or a really wide forefoot, um, again, that changes up your options as far as soccer shoes go. Another thing to take note of is are you flat footed? Um, flat footed, a lot of people talk about arch support and soccer shoes. And to me, I'm not a whole big fan of the whole, whole orthotics and arch support thing. To me, it's a little bit of a gimmicky thing and it really doesn't mean all that much. But if you do have flat feet, generally you're gonna have a little bit wider feet. Personally, I have, I would say semi-flat feet. I am slightly flat footed, but not too bad. And other than that, I have about a regular width foot. I've made videos on this before, if you do wanna check this out. And one of the major things when it comes to getting the proper fit out of your soccer shoe or determining whether or not you have wide feet is a lot of people don't actually realize what size they need and how their soccer shoes should fit. I made a question of the week video on this not too long ago. I'll leave an annotation on screen. Really go check it out if you don't know how your soccer shoes should fit. I really go into detail and explain how soccer shoes should fit and uh, that's gonna help you out in terms of getting into a shoe that's gonna fit you properly and knowing how wide your foot actually is. So the one question that I want you guys to kind of ask yourselves here is how do I know what shoe is going to fit me best? Because that's really what you want to know. It really doesn't matter if you have wide feet or not. It's more of a matter of getting the right shoe for your foot type that's going to fit you the most comfortably. Because at the end of the day, if you're buying a soccer shoe that's not comfortable to wear, you're going to have a hard time with it. And more often than not, you're not going to like the shoe. You really want to be comfortable when you're buying these shoes, especially when you are spending a lot of money uh, on higher end product. 
the first thing that I need you guys to do, and it, it drives me absolutely crazy when I get questions about sizing and fit of a soccer shoe on a shoe that I've already done a review of. If you guys don't know already, I run a website. It's called SoccerReviewsForYou.com. You'll see the watermark in the top left corner of all of my latest videos. It's been there on almost every video that I've put up on YouTube. That website, every single shoe that you see in my videos, I do full written reviews on. I test them um, for several, several hours at a time. Get to know these shoes really put a lot of effort into explaining how the fit and feel of each of these shoes are and if you haven't been there already go ahead and check it out I have reviews for pretty much all of the latest soccer gear some of it is obviously still in review reviews are pending I don't have everything up at the moment but most of the current stuff especially the really popular stuff is already up there so if you do want more information on any of the shoes that you see on this table as far as fit goes I really go into detail there I tell you how it fits through the midfoot the forefoot the toe box the heel how it's the sizing, what size do you need, do you have to go up a size, you have to go down a size, do you stick true to size, all of that information that you need is going to be found on that website, soccerreviewsforyou.com. You can either look it up yourself or I will leave a direct link down below in the description, it'll be the very first link. Um, and like I said, go ahead and check out that shoe fit video. Figure out how your soccer shoes should fit. Because a lot of people are wearing their shoes way too big. And that's why they're not able to get a good fit out of their shoes. So again, go ahead and check out that video. I'll leave an annotation on screen. One major rule that you need to live by when you're buying soccer shoes is don't force your foot into a shoe that doesn't fit. For example, if you do have really wide feet, uh, a vapor is not going to be a good choice for you. It's not going to stretch out. It's never going to fit you comfortably. You can see how narrow cut this uh, shoe actually is. And if, if you have flat feet, it's going to be even worse because this instep really does hug your foot and you're not going to be able to get a comfortable fit out of your shoes. So it's very, very important to buy a shoe that fits you properly. If you're, for example, a size 9 US in pretty much every shoe, you try on the Vapor 9 and it fits perfectly in the length but it's too narrow for you, you should absolutely not go half a size up and just, okay, now the width is okay but the shoe's a little bit too long. That's no good. If you don't fit in your regular size, you should never size up into a soccer shoe. Instead, pick a different model that fits you properly in your proper shoe size. Um, obviously I have a couple examples here on the table in front of me. Um, from left to right I have two shoes that I would consider to be wider fitting shoes or shoes that pretty much fit everybody. I have two medium width shoes or regular width shoes if you want to call them that. And then I have two more narrow width shoes. The two I have here that are wider fitting are the Copa Mundial and the Diodora Americana. The Copa Mundial is a great example of one of those shoes that truly will fit anybody. If you do have wide feet, you do have flat feet, Leather is definitely a, an upper that you want to take a look at simply because it's going to have that stretch to it. I've talked about this before, but a shoe like the Copa Mondial will fit a little bit narrow from right out of the box, but once you start to wear them and they stretch out, they're going to form exactly to your feet. And even if you do have wider feet, they're going to stretch to fit you very, very comfortably. The same goes for the Diodora Americana. Again, very well priced shoes, but like I said, if you do have wider feet, leather is definitely the way to go. The other two shoes I have here in the middle are your regular width shoes, I would say. Um, they have some stretch to them, but not too much. Again, they are leather models. When you get into synthetics, especially thin synthetics, that's where you're getting into narrow fit narrower fitting shoes, simply because they're not going to have very much stretch to them at all. So the first example I have here is the Adidas F50 i0 My Coach 2 in leather. Um, very good shoe, very popular shoe, and it's one of those shoes that's not going to fit overly wide, but it definitely has some width to it because the leather has the ability to expand. And then of course I have the Puma Powercat here, again a leather in the forefoot while the midfoot is a synthetic. So it's not going to be super wide in the midfoot, but you're going to have that little bit of expansion room in the forefoot and toe box of the shoe. Also keep in mind that I do have only six shoes out here. These are not the only examples. Again, if you want more information on any particular shoe you have in mind, go ahead and check out my website guys, soccerreviewsforyou.com. You're going to find all the information that you need here. There, sorry. And then of course I have the Under Armour uh, Blur Carbon 3. New shoe on the market. A lot of people probably are taking a good look at it. My review for this just went up. Very good shoe, but it is, does have a narrower fit, just like the MV9 does. Again, another very, very popular shoe, but if you do have wider feet, it's not something that's going to fit you all that comfortably. That's pretty much it as far as question of the week goes. I hope I answered your question. You really need to determine for yourself whether or not you have wide feet. 
It's not a question that I can answer for you. And like I said, go ahead and check out that video. Figure out how your shoes should fit because a lot of people are wearing their shoes way too big and that's just not right. It kind of defeats the purpose of buying a high-end shoe because you're buying that, you're paying that more expensive price for a better fitting soccer shoe. So if they're not, you're not getting the right size, you're kind of not getting your money's worth. But that's pretty much it as far as the question of the week uh, video goes this week. If you do have any questions, like I said, feel free to leave a question down below. If you have any questions directly related to this video, feel free to leave that too and I will get a uh, answer to you kind of for clarification reasons. If you're not subscribed to the channel already and you did enjoy today's video, be sure to hit that subscribe button for daily videos on all the latest soccer gear, such as unboxings, comparison videos, reviews, question of the week. I even am going to be doing some free kick stuff in the near future, so stick around for that. And like I said, if you're not subscribed to that channel already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I also have a Facebook fan page if you do want to get a quicker answer out of me. The SR4U fan page can be found linked down below in the description. And I also have an Instagram as well. My Instagram name is Josh. Just like this channel name, you can go ahead and look me up. Or again, the link can be found down below in the description. Other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And as always, thanks for watching.